Have you ever asked the Lord, what's taking so long? Why does God continue to be patient when we're so ready to leave this world behind to be with him? In 2 Peter chapter 3, Peter explains this great mystery of God's patience as we anticipate his soon return. In the last days, Peter reminds us, scoffers will come. And they'll say, what happened to the promise that Jesus is coming back? Nothing has changed. It's the same as it ever was. But they intentionally forget that God made the heavens and the earth just by speaking the word. And by the same word, the present heavens and earth are waiting for the day of judgment. Then listen closely as Peter explains our great hope, beginning in verse 8. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but he wants everyone to repent. As we watch the world around us spinning out of control, as Christian values are undermined and patience is wearing thin, Peter reminds us that God's promise is not just for you and I, but for all of mankind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him, Jesus, the Messiah, will live forever. And so, dear friends, verse 14, while you are waiting for these things to happen, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives that are pure and blameless in His sight. And remember, our Lord's patience gives people time to be saved. So let me encourage you to take advantage of the Lord's patience today. Read 2 Peter chapter 3 for yourself and share the truth of the gospel with one of the whosoevers in your life.